to everybody, this is one now mofo one and two three. Today we're gonna be doing like a let's play sort of deal. Uh we're going to be playing this war of mine. And I was doing this earlier just to see how it was on the PC. It's, it's not that different from the console. The only difference is that you can actually choose pretty much a good majority of your characters and tell them to go do certain things. Whereas on the console you had to do them like individually. Which I mean actually sped up the time. But well I mean which, you know, I made it so that the time was actually worth something on the console, but here it's kind of like, oh, you can just tell them to go do certain things all at one time, and the time is kind of like, you know, not even finished yet. So enough of me babbling. I'm going to get into this one, do another try. <clears throat> uh, we're just going to make this random. You will lose your current progress. I was actually doing really good on this one, too. Oh, well. Loading. Day one. Welcome to hell. Fuck the war. Alright, so we got one, two. So I pretty much have almost the same people, except for that person, I think. I don't know who that is. Okay, that's someone, I don't know. How long has the siege lasted? It's hard to say, when every day is a struggle for the survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinarily <clears throat> ordinary business almost everywhere, every night. Uh, phones don't work, there's a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pavle uh, while scavenging for supplies. He used to be Pogorin's star football player. Football, does that mean like soccer? Uh, cause, I mean, it makes sense, right? Now he's just another homeless victim of the war. Uh, so they teamed up in the hopes for best, hope, hoping for the best. Man, I have terrible at reading. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me for that. All right, so I'm gonna get this guy to do that. This guy to come up here and do this. This guy to come down here. Uh, check to see if that's actually. All right, so you got to do that. Oh, there's no backyard this time. This house is actually slightly different. Okay, water, food, oh, okay, that's actually pretty nice. Let's get all that shit. <coughs> Grab that. I don't know, I don't know if there's an easier way to actually, ooh, nice. <coughs> you have to excuse me, I'm a little sick here. Uh, so we're gonna get this guy, can you open this door? Okay, you can open this door. Right, there's nothing there, so you come back and do this. Uh, you... I don't want to waste that just yet. Come down here, check to see if that's open. Oh, wait. Okay, got all that shit. Grab that. You grab this. And you open up this door while you're at it. Grab that. Actually, man, I'm actually gonna have a lot of lot picks. I'm gonna be able to open a bunch of shit. Uh, okay, so this needs to be open. Okay, this is obviously open. Because it would show, like, the little lock pick, I think. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, no. Go, 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 go. That's gonna be a bit, so, uh... It has to take a very long time to freaking uh, unclog that toilet there. Oh, damn, you gotta use that. Alright, you come up there and do that. Uh, you. Where the hell are you going? Come down here and do this. Uh, check to see what's over there. Oh, that's gonna be a while. Okay, so. Alright, got all that shit. Okay, so Marco is slightly sick. Uh, Bruno. He's a good cook, and he's slightly wounded. 
Okay, so he's the only decent one right now. And as far as I've seen, we have not found any food, canned food, any vegetables, any, you know, alcohol. So this is actually kind of a rough start. This is as far as I've seen. Unless we find something in this, or in this down here. Is there an easier way to actually move the screen around? Let's see, look at WASD, no, up, down, no. Uh, space, pause. Okay, uh... There has to be a way to move the screen around. Hmm. Move it up and down like that. Oh, I could just... Eh, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> Before this whole mess begun, I lived with my <coughs> I lived with my wife and son in the better part of the city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope that they are okay. I'm not doing so well, as you see. Uh, who needs football players during a war? Nobody cares about sports when every day is their, every day can be their last. So I scavenge the ruins just like everyone else, hoping for the best. So that's the Pavle story. And while you're at it, come and do this one. Oh, these guys are almost actually done with those. Okay, sweet. Alright, you come over here and get this shit. While you're doing that, I will read your bio really quick. <clears throat> Before the war, I used to be a... I used to own a... Re Before the war, I used to own a restaurant. Even I had an... Even I had my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I visited beautiful places where I was... Uh, film cooking exquisite dishes all that seems to be of no importance now don't you think nowadays <coughs> you're lucky if you get your hands on some canned meat or bag of rice and who knows how long this war is going to last the one thing about Bruno or wait that was Bruno right yeah the one thing about Bruno is that if this guy doesn't get cigarettes like, he'll be an asshole the entire fucking game. Like, he won't do anything, but he'll be an asshole, pretty much. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I'm a little sick. But I ain't gonna stop me. Ain't gonna stop me. Let's see, was it worth it? Okay, I got medical supplies, one food. Okay. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. I don't know if I should waste that just yet. Ah, shit. Let's see. We got one, two. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot here. I'm going to need one, two, <clears throat> three, four. It's about three, four, three picks. Uh, four picks, something like that. Send that guy up there to get shit done up here. Come on, Pablo. Alright, so we have enough to actually do that. Okay, so let's make this while you're doing that. Uh, should I waste it? No, I'm not going to waste it. Pablo, come pick this shit. At least it's warm. Yeah. Oh, more food, yay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm guessing I'm out of picks because it's just showing the lock thing now. Alright, how about you? You finished it? Okay, so I can make this, which actually gives me more picks. Uh, Metal Workshop allows, allows us to make tools such as shovels to clear, for clearing the rubble, crowbars for breaking doors, and knives for self-defense. Later, we can use it to build more advanced tools and even repair firearms. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, right? Oh, should I do this or should I do this? A stove. It's as simple as they get. Just burn some fuel made of wood, books or components, and use them uh, to cook meals. A nutritious... Uh, wait, what? To cook a meal more nutritious than raw food. Okay. Ah. Uh, I mean, they're not hungry yet, so I guess I'll go with this. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna... 
Put that right there. Why you? Is there anything else you can do? Okay, that's locked. Uh. Oh no. Let's see you. Ah, uh, the door's locked. Are you serious? Fuck. <clears throat> okay, so you're slightly wounded. So is it worth using one of these? I mean, you could recover though, right? I mean, after a little bit. Oh shit, it's almost 6 p.m. It's almost time for the game to say bye bye. Alright, so. I need some more of this. That or I could just buy it off of some of the traders. Uh. Well, I guess I'll just end the day here. The night. Alright, so. Have you guard. Have you guard. It's, it's pointless to have them, like, sleep because they'd be laying on the floor. And that would not be good. What is this? Shelled Cottage. The neighborhood recently got shelled, and many houses are still burning. People are fleeing from <coughs> for their lives in a hurry. So we may find some useful stuff here without meeting anyone. We got some food, huge amount of parts, some meds, huge amount of wep weapons, lots of parts. Alright, what about the semi-detached house? Uh, half of it is ruined, but there are some people who are living in it. <coughs> in the other half, they don't seem friendly. Okay, so I'm not gonna go there. Decrepit squat. Uh, it's inhabited by the homeless. Uh, since long before the war, they've always been struggling with a lack of food. Okay, so that's not probably not the best part to go to. So we'll go to the shelled cottage. Oh, actually. Marco has a lot more space. You know, I'm gonna take this guy. You can guard. Um, so let's repair. I don't think we really need anything. Scavenge. Ooh, achievement unlocked! What is that? Double the watch? Alright. I didn't know that was an achievement. Ooh, there's a dead guy right there. The house is still burning. Yes, grab all that shit. Let's go. Grab all that. Oh my god, I'm already freaking full. If there's food, then I'll grab the food. Oh my god. Uh, what to leave? Grab this. Uh that and all the water and pretty much mission accomplished that's all I can freaking take oh let's get the hell out of here hey look a rat we can use that to eat Marco is back day two <clears throat> so usually these games go up to like I don't know 30 to 40 maybe 20 I don't know it's really random that's the cool thing about this game like it has a lot of re replayability because <coughs> they always have a you know uh, what is it a different outcomes different endings you know what I'm saying Man, we already have six freaking food. Yeah! Now I just need to build. Okay, you a good skilled scavenger. Good cook and fast runner. Okay. Alright, so there's nobody that really knows how, how to build. Which kind of sucks because now it's going to actually cost to build stuff. So I'm going to build this here. Actually, how much does it cost to make a bed? I think I only have enough for one bed. Um, no, no, I have enough for two. Okay. Yeah, I have enough for two. Okay. But I would really like to get some defenses here, because eventually they're gonna start raiding our freaking house, and that's not gonna be a good thing. You guys got anything to say? Nope. Okay, 
So you, while you're, while you're doing that. Okay. So let's make a bed. Let's make that. Let's put it right here. Place that. Did you get a move on it, pal? Ah, whatever. Alright. So we built that. And now the cool thing about Bruno is that he can actually... <clears throat> um, you know, make it so that the, the it's cheaper to make food. And that's actually good because if not, then we'd have to use a lot more resources. Uh, let's see. Should I make another bed or should I put up barricades? Uh... Okay, so I have to think about this because... <clears throat> Um, I'm gonna need one person to be sleeping, one person to be guarding, and another person to be scavenging. So really, I only need, like, one bed. Um, so I guess I'll go with barricading? Hopefully a freaking guy comes over so that we could, uh, you know, get, uh, more stuff. Or actually, you're slightly sick now. Okay, well, let's see. So, this is basically like firewood. Um, let's make four of those. That Bruno come up here to make the food. Okay, he's tired. Um, have some sleep. All right. So we can make two bowls because of the uh, vegetables here, uh, and one food. Whereas if we didn't have any vegetables, we'd have to make at least three of these things. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, and also with Bruno, he gets um, less of the stuff that we could actually make with. So let's make all that. Let's see. All right. So he built up this. Come down here. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> uh, I heard about the aggressive groups wandering in this area. Really? Okay, so he just ate. No, 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 so you come and eat over here. Oh shit, I didn't read that. That'll do for now. Okay. So I guess you could come over here. You make another batch of the of the stuff over here. Uh yeah. Let's make one. Hey, goodness, we found those vegetables. That's great. Alright. So, Pavla, you come up here and eat this. That way you won't be as sick. I think if um, you have them, like, fed well in this game, they won't get as sick. But then again, this beater right here started to go down. So that makes me think that it actually might get cold. Which means that I'll have to go and get a freaking furnace, and it's like, God damn it, I don't want to. Oh my goodness. It is getting... I'm still waiting for something to happen here. Trader, where you at? 
Let's see, can I make anything else? I can make a shovel, but that's not gonna do me. That's not gonna do anything for me. I need one of these. That's what I need. Uh, alright. So I guess I'll go back to the abandoned cottage to see if there's anything else. I'll probably take uh, this guy with me, Marco again. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like he's covered, so I'll but uh, end the day here, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna go with the same guy. Uh, he's gonna be sleeping in bed. Actually, no, you're gonna be guarding. You're gonna be sleeping in bed because you're sick. Slightly wounded, tired. Uh, so you got the garage. Uh, before the war, you could <clears throat> you could have your car repaired there. It was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade with us. Uh, alternatively, we might find a lot of useful parts there. Maybe even some food. So... With these guys, basically what they're looking for is medical supplies, which we actually do have at least one medical bandage, I believe. So that could actually be worth a lot to him. So I have to remember to keep that bandage so when we go back there. But for now, we're going to go to the uh, Schultz Cottage with uh, Marco because he has the most space. All right. Scavenge. Okay. So, let's get back in here, see what else we can find. What else was in here? Alright, so these are sugar. It's essentially made for moonshine, see what it says right there, or beer. Uh, which I I can I can take. It's actually a pretty good trading product. Uh, with the uh, you know the trader that comes around every now and then. Oh god, I need to blow my nose. Oh shit, this is a lot of stuff. Oh my god, Jesus. <clears throat> but I'm more looking for parts. Oh god, medical supplies, hell yeah. I'm gonna go to that freaking garage guy. Oh shit, that's a dead body right there. Oh, that's actually gonna take a while to freaking do. Uh, let's see. This might be locked. Uh, so basically, what this is is like he can hear something but I, since it's a, it's an abandoned cottage it leads me to believe that it's only rats and you only see like rats in this game like you don't really see like dogs or anything like that <coughs> oh man um. this could be a while but hey you can gotta get more shit right Okay, so we got this here, that there. Does that go any further? Can't really tell. I don't think it does. I think it just goes like right here. Oh, there could there might actually be something right here. This is uh This is really invigorating, I gotta say. Alright. Let's do that. Next time I'll bring a freaking shovel. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. This is cigarettes that we could use for freaking uh, what's his name? That one guy at our camp. I think his name is Bruno. Like he's he's more of a cigarette kind of guy. Uh, gun. Uh, we don't really need guns right now, unless uh. 
you know, crime starts to get into more of an uproar in the city. Oh, fucking. I'm gonna need a shovel for this. Oh, that's a lot of wood. Oh, sh what should I leave? Well, it seems like we're all out of time here. I guess I'll catch you in the next one.